family, we have no rules. This might sound a little capricious, very chaotic, a bit crazy. You're probably imagining garbage strewn on the floor, kids who don't obey, and just pure craziness. Hello Toastmasters and guests, in my family we have no rules, but what we do have is principles. By definition, a rule is something that externally compels a person to do something. People follow rules out of fear out of being afraid of their parents being fired, being put in jail. They do, they follow rules because someone tells them they have to. On the other hand, a principle by definition is something that compels you internally to do what is good and right because it is good and right, because it is moral because that is what you should be doing. Why does my family not have any rules? When I became a parent, one of the first things I started doing is watching other parents parent their children as much as possible. I wanted to learn from them everything possible, both what to do and what not to do. And a theme happened, and I kept seeing over and over again. The families who had the most rules had the <clears throat> children and the teenagers who were the sneakiest. Their parents didn't even know that they were poorly behaved because they were so sneaky. And I was baffled by that. Why is that? I started thinking about rules. A common example of a rule in many, many houses with children is don't throw a ball in the house. I kept finding children who, when their mom was looking, they didn't throw a ball. Then the mom would turn her back and they'd throw the ball right at the window or their sister's head. And the mom would hear a noise and she'd turn around, what are you doing? Oh, just playing with a, you know, stuffed animal. Oh, okay. Because there was no rule about not throwing stuffed animals. <laughs> mom would turn her head again and, and, they'd, and the kids would then kick a ball across the floor. Mom would hear a noise, she'd turn around and say, what are you kids doing? Oh, nothing, we're just kicking balls around because there are no rules about kicking balls because the kids didn't understand the principle behind what I believe the parents were, their intentions were. Because rules don't always make sense. They are for specific situations. A rule is something to work around, to find a way to not do. A principle, on the other hand, it's a universal truth. You do not, you cannot have it not be true because it is a universal truth. There is no need to rebel from a universal truth. There is no need for a person to lie if the principle is to tell the truth. There is no reason to be mean if the principle is be kind. Principles are universal truths. Examples are you drop something, it falls to the floor. Universal truth. You are hungry, you eat, you get full. It's a universal truth. You're mean to your sister, she's not going to like you. It's a universal truth. Does this mean that I believe that all rules are evil? Absolutely not. I actually have a list of rules that I often have to give to guests who come over to our house who don't live a principle-based life. 
because they don't understand a principle of we don't want bugs in the house, so we don't hide candy in the pillows. Silly rule that I've actually had to instill. But I'd never have to do that in my family. I also believe that government rules, otherwise known as laws, are very important. If we don't have laws, we've discovered the world gets quite chaotic. However, we have the responsibility that if we don't like a rule, that we can actually stand up and fight it and change that. This is not the case for children in homes. And I didn't want children who rebelled. I didn't want a child who felt a need to hide things from me. I wanted children who were the same in front of me as they were behind me, as the way they were as adults. And I asked myself that question, how can I have a child like that? And that is why, in my family, we have no rules. Thank you.